f root 2, you close the bracket, you open the bracket root 3 plus root 2, you close the bracket, equals to a plus b root 6, find a and b. Given that, you open the bracket root 3 minus 5 root 2, you close the bracket. Then open another bracket, root 3 plus root 2, you close the bracket. Equals to a plus b root 6. Find a and b. a is minus 7 and b is minus 4. Excellent, very good. That's a good answer. Two points to Fanta Strawberry. Um, physics question, um, Fanta Black Current. A neutral plastic rod is rubbed by a piece of animal fur. Describe the charge, the charge on each item. A neutral plastic rod is rubbed by a piece of animal fur. Describe the charge on each item. A. Both items will be neutral. B. The fur and the rod will both have a negative net charge. C. The rod will have a negative net charge and the four will have a positive net charge. D. The road will have a positive net charge and the four will have a negative net charge. Option D. Option D. Option D says the road will have a positive net charge and the four will have a negative net charge. You miss it. Fanta strawberry. A. A. Both items will be neutral. You also miss it. Yes, from the floor. Tell us. Use the mic, please. Use the mic. Give him the mic, please. My name is Adam B. The answer is C. The answer is C. And that the C says the rod will have a negative net charge and the four will have a positive net charge. That's of course. Yes, very correct. Clap for him. Um, Fanta Strawberry, your physics question. Sphere A carries a net positive charge and sphere B is neutral. They are placed near each other on an insulated table. Sphere B is briefly touched with a wire that is grounded. Which statement is correct? I repeat, sphere A carries a, negative, uh, a net positive charge, a net positive charge, and sphere B is neutral. They are placed near each other on an insulated table. Sphere B is briefly touched with a wire that is grounded. Which statement is correct? A. Sphere B remains neutral. B. Sphere B is now positively charged. Sphere C. Oh, let us see. Sphere B is now negatively charged. And let D. The charge on sphere B cannot be determined without additional information. D. D. Yeah. D says the charge on sphere B cannot be determined without additional information. You miss it. Yes, Fanta Black Koran. Letter A. Letter A. Sphere B remains neutral. You also miss it. Yes, from the floor. Yes, the same boy. Your hands up. B. B. Yeah. This time you miss it. Sphere B is now possibly charged. 
The correct answer there is C. Sphere B is now negatively charged. So find the black current. Your next question. How does an oxygen atom form a bond with a magnesium atom? How does an oxygen atom form a bond with a magnesium atom? Options A. By giving one pair of electrons. B. By accepting one pair of electrons. C. By sharing two pairs of electrons, both pairs provided by the magnesium atom. And the D, by sharing two pairs of electrons, both pairs provided by the oxygen atom itself. Final block on your question. A says by giving one pair of electrons. B says by accepting one pair of electrons. C says by sharing two pairs of electrons, both pairs provided by the magnesium atom. And that D says by sharing two pairs of electrons, both pairs provided by the oxygen atom itself. Option C. Option C. C says by sharing two pairs of electrons, both pairs provided by the magnesium atom. You miss it. From the strawberry. D. Option D. By sharing two pairs of electrons, both pairs provided by the oxygen atom is, itself. You also miss it. Yes? From the floor. Use the mic, please. B. Option B. Uh, the, By accepting the, one pair of electrons. Very from correct. the magnesium, yeah. Very correct. <laughs> Clap in. Um, Fanta Strawberry. Your chemistry question. When an ionic compound like magnesium chloride melts, one of the following happens. When an ionic compound like magnesium chloride melts, one of the following happens. Options A, electrostatic force of attraction and repulsion between the ions are overcome. B, the covalent bonds between the ions in the lattice are overcome. C, the ions are separated and converted into atoms. And the D, there is release of electrons from the ions in ionic compound. Let me repeat the options for you. Electrostatic force of attractions and repulsions between the ions are overcome. That's A. B, covalent, uh, covalent bonds between the ions in the lattice are overcome. C, the ions are separated and converted into atoms. D, there is release of electrons from the ions in the ionic compound. C. C. And what does C say? The ions are separated and converted into atoms. You mesh it. Yes? From the block current. Option A. Option A. Electrostatic forces of attraction and repulsion between the ions are overcome. That's very true. One point. 